Hello everyone, this is Edmund from yourinternational.com and in this video, I'm going to share with you some basic information about phytonutrients and why they are good for your body. So let's move on. So what's covered in this video? First of all, we're going to discuss about what are phytonutrients, the different classes of phytonutrients, types of phytonutrients, health benefits of phytonutrients, what is the phytonutrient index which is very useful when you are selecting food items to be used in your cooking, followed by foods that are high in phytonutrients, and lastly, how much do you need? So what are phytonutrients? Phyto is the Greek word for plant, therefore phytonutrients mean plant-based nutrients. They are commonly obtained from your fruits and vegetables, as you can see in the picture here. Phytonutrients protect plants from germs, fungi, bugs, along with other threats. Therefore, consuming these food items will be beneficial to our body as well. What are the different classes of phytonutrients? You'll be surprised to know that there are over 100,000 phytonutrients and they can be classified in these three broad categories. The first one is fruits and veggies. The second one is herbs and spices. And lastly, you have medicinal plants. So what are the different types of phytonutrients? So these are the common types of phytonutrients. We have phytonutrients like resveratrol, which is commonly found in purple fruits and vegetables. And we have allicin, which is commonly found in white fruits and vegetables. And we have carotenoids, which is commonly found in orange and yellow fruits and vegetables. And of course, we have lutein, which is commonly found in green vegetables. And of course, we have lycopene, which is commonly found in red fruits and vegetables. And of course, there are a whole lot of other phytonutrients as well. So these are the more common ones, okay? So what are some of the health benefits of phytonutrients? The color of the fruit and vegetable determines the type of phytonutrients that they have. For example, purple fruits and vegetables such as the sweet potatoes, blueberry, the grapes, and eggplant contain phytonutrients that promote brain health. Yellow and orange fruits and vegetables such as pineapples, corn, carrots, and oranges contain phytonutrients that promote vision health. Red fruits and vegetables such as apples, red turnips, cranberries, and tomatoes contain phytonutrients that promote heart health. Green fruits and vegetables such as green tea, which is a type of plant. And of course, we have broccoli, kale, and green beans promote cellular health. And of course, we have white fruits and vegetables such as your mushrooms, your garlic, your onions, and your turnips contain phytonutrients that promote bone and joint health. So moving on to the phytonutrients index. So the phytonutrient index is basically a measurement of the amount of colorful plant pigments and compounds in the food that help prevent disease and promote health. This will come in handy when you are selecting food items from the grocery store. So the first step is to look at the serving size and determine if this is your typical portion as labels can be deceiving at times. For example, a cereal may state 3 quarter cup serving when your typical portion is 1.5 cups or worse, it may say 2 servings when typically people consumed the whole amount in the container or bottle. Have you ever known 4 people to share one pint of haagen ice cream? Which is why it's important for you to define the serving size, okay? To ensure that you're consuming enough fruits and vegetables in your diet. The second step is to determine whether the calories are high GL or low GL. So what do you mean by GL? It basically refers to the glycemic load. The total amount of carbohydrates is less important than where they come from. If they are found in food with a low GL and high PI, they will have a very different effect on your appetite and weight than those food that are quickly absorbed and have few nutrients and fiber. How do you know which foods have a low GL and high PI? 
simple. Just simply choose whole plant foods and you can't lose. Okay. So the third step is to start with fiber. It is one of the main factors that determine the all-important glycemic load. It also gives you a clue about the phytonutrient index as well. Many packaged foods have no fiber. If convenience items such as soups, entries or snacks are missing this key fiber factor, you should leave them on the shelf and not buy them. Okay. And the last step is to look at the total carbohydrates. Remember that it's the type of carbs that matters most. If they are from whole plant foods that contain plenty of fiber or have a low GL, their effect is very different from that of fiberless foods. So the same amount of carbohydrates from a can of beans or from a can of coke affects the body in very different ways. To sum it all up, you should look for food items with low glycemic load, which means the carbohydrate enters your bloodstream slowly, and a high phytonutrient index, which means they are rich in phytonutrients. Moving on to foods that are high in phytonutrients, some great examples would be your tomatoes, your sweet potatoes, citrus fruits and carrots, broccoli, bok choy, kale and spinach. Next, we have garlic, leek and onions. We also have brown rice, barley and quinoa, almonds, walnuts and flax seeds. And of course, we have things like your green beans, you know, your peas, and soybeans, followed by your black coffee, green tea, and herbal teas, and lastly, your black chocolate. So these are just some of the food items that contain a lot of phytonutrients. How much do you need? According to the World Health Organization, it is recommended for an individual to get at least 400 grams of fruits and vegetables, or more than 5 servings of fruits and vegetables, assuming one serving is 80 grams. If you are not sure what is a serving, you can simply visit Fruits and Veggies, More Matters, the org for more great information about the serving size. Or you can just simply check out the link that I have in the video to visit this website to learn more about the serving size. Okay. Most importantly, your fruits and vegetables should come from these five color spectrums. That is your purple or blue, red, yellow or orange, green and white to ensure that you get all the essential phytonutrients that your body requires to function at its best. So would you like to learn more about nutrition? Simply visit yourinternational.com slash nutrition-101 for more great information. And please subscribe and click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks! Here are other videos on nutrition that you can visit to learn more.